The very beginning of my career, um, I lacked role models. Uh, there were not enough of them. I felt I was one of a few girls in my area, so I felt a bit like I was the imposter. The imposter syndrome, you feel like everyone around you uh, is absolutely comfortable in their roles and they are great and you feel like, oh, but me, I'm, I'm absolutely not wonderful. What am I doing here? Being a woman in industry and science could be really difficult. You may feel like an imposter sometimes uh, and it uh, begins to feel like Oh, maybe I'm not good enough for what am I doing? But you you can um, find your way. I haven't had any barriers apart from the initial surprise when I was first appointed that the new field geologist was a woman. And some people looked a bit surprised, but they gradually got the hang of it. And, and I would be pleased to say that I am just as good as anybody else. And I think that I have proved that in my work. The person that really inspired me to continue in chemistry, in global issues, is actually my uh, chemistry teacher. She told me that you can explain whatever questions you have in this world, in this planet, with chemistry. She's a very, very passionate teacher and also a scientist, I would say. So that really, really, really motivate and passionate me in uh, pursuing knowledge in science. I love learning. I still love learning. I think I continue to learn every day. And when I was at school, my greatest interests were the sciences, particularly the natural sciences, the biology, zoology, and physical sciences, physics, uh, the geography and geology, for me, pulls together all of those things. So it's the biology, the fossils of the earth. It's the physics of the earth. It's the chemistry of the earth. It's the physical geography of the earth. It was a light bulb moment for me. In general, uh, women don't really speak up as much as they should, and so um, I see that in the in the in the classroom sometimes as well, especially for the undergrads. The female uh, students are much less likely to to speak up than their their male counterparts. So I would say to the to any young female engineer, speak up. We need to hear your voice. It's really important. Have confidence in yourself because really everyone has something to bring uh, to the table. Absolutely everyone.